G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to talk about an Australian icon. Well, it's actually an international icon that used to be my favorite fast food restaurant, but unfortunately, it's not even making the top five anymore. Subway. Used to be there for one another. Subway used to be my absolute favorite restaurant, but unfortunately, I reckon it peaked a long, long time ago. I reckon Subway peaked back when they had the team coach captain footy cards. Yeah, that was unbelievable, but that was 2005. Subway peaked in 2005. Subway peaked when this guy won Big Brother. Wait, who won Big Brother that year? Greg Matthew. Who the fuck is that guy? Um, I can't really reference that. I might have to do an Australian Idol reference. Subway peaked that long ago. Subway peaked when the Australian Idol winner was this person. Well, I've never seen this person in my life. Jeez, we're really scraping the barrel in 2005 on reality TV. And um, we still are. I just feel like over the last few years, something's gone wrong at Subway. Now, this isn't a Subway bashing video. This is a Subway, come on. This is a Subway motivational video. I want Subway to get the best out of themselves. Now, the writing was on the wall for a long time at Subway. They were saying that they were the freshest. They were saying that they were the healthiest. And a lot of things were coming out that were saying that that just simply wasn't true. And another thing they tried to convince us for a while was that they had 12 inch and 6 inch subs. But when measured, their bread fell well short. Yeah, but I don't want to pick them up on that one because we've all pinched an inch here or there. Uh, I don't think it's the size that matters. I think it's the, you know. I'm just concerned for Subway. I'm really, really concerned. I'm not sure they have a brand anymore. Like, I don't know when I go to Subway. I definitely don't go to Subway when I'm hungover. That's a KFC given. I definitely don't go to Subway when I'm after something fresh and healthy, even though that's what they're trying to convince us of. I probably go to Grilled. And when I want to eat like a six-year-old, I don't go to Subway. I go to Macca's. Get some nuggets, sneaky snack wrap, maybe even a toy. I think Subway should just own what they are. Like, they try and be fresh and healthy, but they're cooking with a microwave right in front of us. Like, who are you kidding? I think a restaurant that owns who they are and what they are perfectly is probably KFC. That's a no-nonsense culinary experience. KFC just goes slap, this is what we are. KFC just lays back and goes, look, this is us. Love it or hate it, we'll take it or leave it. And that's what we respect KFC for. We respect them for their honesty. But I've got a plan for Subway. I've got a plan. I'm thinking big business. I'm thinking long term. They don't love making the subs anymore and it's sad to see. But one thing I reckon they love making and it's inspiring is the Subway cookie. Talk about Subway eat fresh, this is fresh. So I think Subway just need to throw in the sandwich facade. They're done with the sandwich game, we've seen it for years. And I think Subway should probably rebrand as a bloody cookie dessert store. You're only stopping yourself, Subway. Only stopping yourself.